Welcome fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. It's a very, very exciting uh, battle report today uh, between myself, Peter, Universal Head, and... Will. Will! Yes, he's here and we're playing something we haven't played for a very, very long time. Yes, all of my figures and armies are out of storage. All the terrain is out of storage. It's very exciting. We're finally playing... Wait for it. 8043! <laughs> Yes, AT43, it's a fantastic game, it's by Rackham Entertainment. Rackham, sadly no more, in fact, if you really like this game, you think, gee, I'd really love that game, I'd like to play it. Um, sorry. You won't be able to get any of the figures online, well, you can get a few, but they'd be really overpriced and be hard to put armies together. It's very much kind of defunct. But you could use um, proxied armies to play the same game, and it's a really interesting game. Um, there was only one edition of it, so, you know, it's a bit rough around the edges, but it's a really good sci-fi tabletop game. And as you can see, we've got quite a complex attacker-defender setup going along here. We've got the fascinating um, Therians, who are the sort of nasty extraterrestrials who are actually humans in the far future that have evolved into this nano-molecular kind of weird spiky force. And fighting them, we have the basically communist red block who are future humans who, you know, have gone back to communism thinking it's a great idea again. And, um, <laughs> Not for the first time. <laughs> yes. um, and you will notice a certain similarity with another game we've been playing. Indeed, Dust. Dust Tactics, Dust Battlefield, Dust Warfare, Dust 1947, call it what you will, there have been so many different versions of it. Um, and it's by the same designer, Palo, Palo Parente, who um, originally I believe, um, went to Rackham with his dust concept. They preferred to make it sci-fi, so AT43 was born. Uh, they tanked, so he went off and made dust and it's gone through several versions since. So that's the history, but let's play the game. So the scenario we're playing here is called landing. Now, Will is coming in from this side. He is attacking and his goal is to pretty much get his forces off my edge of the table. My goal is to control various points behind these uh, low walls and I get victory points for holding these points. We both also get reinforcement points for capturing and holding containers and these nano generators. And with those reinforcement points we get to bring on our un reinforcement units. These. In Will's case, over there. Oh. In my case, over here. Will gets to put 1500 of his 2000 points on at the start of the game and have 500 in reserve. I, as the defender, get 1,000 points to bring on at the start of the game, which is there, and 1,000 points to bring on in reserve. So it's an interesting, quite complex scenario, really, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I've got to, to get my victory points. I've got five for each infantry unit I get off the board, and I get two for each tank. I've got to get, to what, 20 to win? 15. 15 to win. So I've either got to get all three infantry off, or a combination of two infantry and three tanks. That's so not, not simple by any means. And the victory points I get, I get one at the end of each turn for each one of these points that I hold. So I really have to hold them all for seven three those. turns or something. Yes, there's seven of them. So you've got to get all seven of them and hold them for three turns. Well, that's not going to happen, so it's going to take longer than three turns. Yes, it's going to be brutal. It is. We tried this last night after a few beers and we got in, at the end of the second turn, we realised we had no idea what we were doing. So we thought, well, can that? We started again in the morning when we're to use Peter's term, fresh. Yes. So we are relatively fresh. Very fresh. Let's try 8043 first turn. It's the tactical phase. We've got to roll dice for leadership points. Correct. And I have a little reference sheet we've made for each of us here where we can put down our commander's um, command value and we can add the number of units and get the total number of leadership points. Maybe. And we do an authority test and that's our authority score plus a d6, plus any points we want to wager. I don't think we're wagering any points, are we? No. I mean, look, this is made out of a drinks coaster. Yeah. The innovation of the man never ceases to astound me. So, let's go. I've rolled a five. And you've got plus what? Uh, seven. Right, okay, and I rolled a... What was that? A one. A one, that's seven. So I've got the initiative. Ah, why is that? Because I rolled a five and I've got seven, so it's ah, there you 12. Go. Excellent. Right, so you decide who starts. I'm going to start. I thought you might. Actually, no, you can start. Oh, really? Yes. Interesting. Because then I get to shoot you. Ah, uh, good point. Mm. Okay, so my first turn is to bring on the Assault Golems. They're just a bog standard um, unit, and they've got nucleus rifles, and they've got in here behind this uh, container, 
And for capturing that container, I get 100 reinforcement points. Reinforcement points at the end of the turn can be exchanged one for one for army points to bring on your reinforcements. So I get that. And then I spend two leadership points to give them a take cover drill, which means if they're in cover, which is normally a five plus save, now they get a three plus save because they're really hunkering down. And I've also put them on overwatch. So if something comes into their field of fire, they can attack. So they've got that container, they're hunkered down. It's your go, Will. In response, I have brought these fellows on here, the Spetsnaz commanders who've taken that container and also taken cover. We've discovered in this game, as in dust, infantry in the open die very quickly. Oh, yes. So do you want to go on Overwatch as well? Or? What the hell? What the hell, why not? So Will has brought on his little sniper team over here. Now, because of the moves, they can't use their sniper rifles, but they can use their... Gauss rifles. Gauss rifles. And it's a range of five. They've got an accuracy of four, so that's minus one. So on our universal total of resolution, that gives us a four plus to hit. Right, just to explain that to the viewers at home, even though no one will be playing this game probably. <laughs> um, you take the accuracy and you minus the range, and you use this universal table. So what was it, a minus one? one yes. That gives a four plus to hit. Yes. So because I was on Overwatch, I got two shots off at his snipers, but the, uh, he was undercover, so he hid behind the barricade and he was fine. So now I'm going to shoot back. I needed, I got a one on the table, so I need a four plus to hit you. And I miss. Right. Now if you hit, uh, what you do is take the weapon's penetration and you minus the target's pr uh, protection, and then you go onto the universal table again to hit. So it's a very simple system really, it's just it taking is. two factors, Finding the difference, looking that up on the table to get a bust or You don't even need the table really, it's just subtracting from four. It's bouncing around four. Yeah, pretty much. So you don't have any more units, do you? So I can now bring on everything in succession. Uh, yes, okay. I do. Krasny Soldati, they can move 14. So I could move up to 20. I did a dash move. Nope, dashing for the cover. Mm, it's not going to get there. There's no cover. I know. And they're just horribly, horrifically exposed. And those guys can just come charging out and mince me at any moment. But, okay, we'll go out to there. Oh dear, that's what they call no man's land. Yep, it's not a good place to be. All I need is just a machine gun right here. And yes, but you don't have one, do you? All you've got is nasty clicky claws. Right, so Will's brought on some serious firepower here. What are those called? Uh, that's a Sierp, and this is a... This is a Urod. A Urod. Right. Nasty. The Urod has a medium anti-tank cannon over here, which is going to fire at your... Uh, mm. Now, the question is, do I take out the thing, or do I take out the horrible beastie that creates the thing? Well, I don't know if you can hit the horrible beastie, but because the other one's in the way. Right, fair enough. Okay, I'll fire at him. That, it, whatever that is, okay. It's a Hecat Golgoth, don't you know? <laughs> and the range is five. Right, so right. I moved, normal move. I'm going to fire two shots at you. Accuracy of six, range of five, so that's a plus one, so I need four plus to hit. Hold on, hold on, you don't even know what my. Oh, it's range. Yeah, okay. That's one hit. One hit, right, now you have to actually penetrate. Yes, and I've got a penetration of 18. Okay, and my protection, my Hecat Golgoth, has a protection of 12. So that's a it's six. six. That's an automatic hit. Right. So I get a 3 plus save. Uh, five, 5 plus, plus save. save. Oh, that's not very good. Oh, this is a bit nasty. 6! Bloody hell! <laughs> now I find my medium rocket launcher. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Sorry, what was that again? <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Uh, it's got an accuracy of three, the range of five, so that's a minus two, so I need a five plus to hit. And I got one hit. One and hit? It's got a What's its, uh, three penetration? Dice. No penetration? Yes, yeah, penetration of three. Oh, what? No, 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 hang on. That's, I get three attacks. Yeah. Why did I only roll two dice? I don't know. Another hit. All right. It's two hits, penetration 12. Yeah, and look, what's the damage it does? Two on each hit. Yes. Oh, that's not good. What's Twelve. Armor? Uh, my armor, however, is... Ah, twelve. So, naught. That's a four plus. Four plus. Ooh. Two hits oh, and dear. two damage from each. Oh, no. So that's four damage. That's not good. Hold on, I get a save. Oh, bloody hell. Was it two, two impacts? Yes, yeah, five plus. Five plus. Come on. Two oh, sixes! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
unbelievable. You know what happens, of course, this being a sort of nano molecular creator thing, it just goes, <laughs> just hunkers down into this tiny little shape behind the wall. <laughs> and then it goes, <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. It goes back up again. Now, this bloke is going to fire his mortars at your infantry. And it's area of fire, so the cover doesn't help you. Oh, that's no fun. Yes, oh, it's very fun. It's targeted on that back bloke there. There we go. Okay. Right, so you have to hit. If it's an automatic, if it's automatic failure, it doesn't hit anything. If at least one shot misses, it deviates, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I've got two light mortars. They've got an accuracy of four. That's Range right. is four. So that's zero. So I need four plus to hit. I've got one for each one. Oh, oh, snake eyes. So they miss, so that means they go somewhere else though. Uh, that does, that means one. it, it rolled roll D6 and move the template one centimeter in the indirect, indicate direction per test failed. Okay, so one centimeter in the direction of one per so test failed. So it's two centimeters in the direction of one. Yeah. So that would be there. Oh, sorry, if all the shots miss, the template must be moved a minimum of 10 centimeters. Oh, yeah. this way. Yeah. So I moved it to, okay, well, hang on, we'll go back to here. Move yeah. 10 centimeters. Do a 10. Yeah, that's a miss. Yeah. Fantastic. Explodes on the roof of the container. That's a truly horrible amount of bad firing you just did there. It's great. Is compared to your double sixes. Yeah. Anyway, can't be hot. Next turn. Right, um, interesting thing here is this game has uh, suppressive fire, which we, at the time was pretty revolutionary in these type of games when it came in. And um, it's proven effective here because um, in the case of Will's unit, I did two hits. Even though they saved, that means they're grounded. That means next turn, all they can do is stand up and they won't be able to actually have an action because they've been suppressed. Because if half the unit or more is grounded, then yes. you have to just spend your whole turn standing up. Correct. If less than half is, they just stand up. So in the case over here where I got um, hit twice, two of these are grounded. But, you know, next turn they'll just stand up because there's only two of them and it's not half the unit. And this is the problem with the small unit like the snipers. All I've got to do, all you've got to do is keep suppressing them and they're basically useless. Yes. Which is good because snipers are pretty nasty. They can take out leaders and things. Mm. Yeah. It's very irritating. I like it. Now what we've done is we've got our um, reinforcement points for controlling objectives. All that, which are those. And uh, I didn't have enough to bring on any reinforcements. But uh, Will did, but he chose not to bring on any of this turn because he's saving them up. So now we're going to do an authority test to work out who has the initiative. And you can wager leadership points on this. Are you going to wager any? That's a very good question. Yes, I think I will. Well, I wagered a big six uh, leadership points on the initiative roll because I have lots of points to spare. And I just won the roll by two because I rolled a one. Um, so I got to go first and I'm activating the heck out Golgoth first. And he's doing a rush move, charging... <laughs> and attacking this infantry unit. Those poor bastards. Look at that. How'd you be? Dude, they're fact, all lined up, ready to be chewed. Lower, lower the head a bit. Don't oh, break oh, it. Oh no, I've broken it. <laughs> Very sensitive on the base, as you can oh, see. They really need to be look, It looks like they're all lining up to just be minced. Yeah. It is like walking into the jaws of a mince grinder thing. Excellent. And the medics at the first rank. Mm. Okay. So that's going to be a close combat and uh, let's do it. I've got a combat knife. I'm sure that'll be helpful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Men, pull out your combat knives. Right. It has two light grim scythes. Uh, at least they're light. Nasty. Uh, <laughs> Could have been worse. So roll dice equal to the attack rate. Blah, 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 blah. Why would I do accuracy for a close combat weapon? Mm. I don't know, how do you do it? That seems strange, doesn't it? So in a close combat situation, it's his accuracy versus my close combat strength, which in this case is eight versus four. Yes, and um, each has an attack rate of two. And there's two of them, so that's four dice. Four dice at a two plus. Four dice at a two plus. Mm. It's not be. looking good for no, the no Krasny no Soldati. Uh, three hits. Rip, tear, tear, rip, 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 tear. <laughs> Um, now there's, uh, of course, there's penetration. It's got 13. What's your armor? Uh, three. Three. Ten. That's an automatic hit. So that's three people dead. That's three hits, but attacker chooses which figures are removed from among the figures in contact with his attacking fighters. Right. So these two guys get killed. So you can only kill the ones you're in contact with. Correct. Oh, well, that's at least minimize the damage somewhat. Oh. Pity it was what the medic. It? Otherwise, I'd be going, medic! Dun, 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 dun. First death of the game! <laughs> it's 
So, well, what are you going to do now that two of your um, infantry have been munched to pieces by huge well, I, I could blades. do anything but follow the initiative order of my... That's thing. true. Though Which, remember, you can spend leadership points to change your initiative order. Uh, yeah, 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 there's a lot. Well, interesting, because the next... And there's the nice thing where... Sorry to interrupt, but you can spend points to delay for a turn mm. and then spend points and do two in a row. Yes. Well, it's an interesting question because the next one I've got, the first one in my order, in fact, is the Krasny Soldati who foresaw this happening and we're going to get the out of Dodge, but right. didn't do it in time because we lost the initiative. Well, you could try and surround the heck out Golgoth and bring it down. Yes, well, that would be a foolhardy and perhaps... <laughs> <laughs> try and surround it and bring it down. Yes. This sounds good, you know, doesn't it? Six blokes with just cloth shirts on. You know, Emp chum, 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 chum. Empire Strikes Back style. <laughs> Let me think for a moment. Right. <laughs> Sorry, just getting some thinking music. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> so if I were to do that foolhardy attempt, I'd have a combat knife with strength of four against yours, which is eight. No, I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is pay two leadership points, was it, to play something out of sequence? 